Have you heard of the man, the owner of the hall? Maslam ibn Alik, one of the commanders of the Muslim army in the Umayyad Khilafah, used to make a dua and used to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to resurrect him and gather him with the person, the owner of the hall. So the Muslim army in the Umayyad Khilafah, in one of the battles, it was very difficult and challenging for them to conquer one of the castles. So the commander in chief, Maslam ibn Abdul Malik, he called upon people for a volunteer to use a very small hole in the wall of uh, this castle that was built very powerfully and to go in and to put his life in jeopardy and to open the gates of this castle so that they can conquer it. A man stood up from amongst the crowd and without identifying himself and revealing his identity, he went on to take the task, to take the duty. And he did what it was expected from him and he opened the gates after fighting the enemy inside the or behind the walls of, of the castle. After that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed his mercy and the victory was granted for the believers. The Muslim army was victorious. The commander, Masa ibn Abdul Malik, called upon people and made an announcement that whoever that person was, the owner of the hall, should come to me and should present himself to me because he was intending to reward him and recognize him. So after a while, a man, a man approaches the, uh, uh, the, the, the place uh, of the commander and seeks permission to enter upon him. And he enters with his face covered and he says that I know who that person is and I actually came from him with a message. But he has three conditions and the conditions must be granted before he can reveal his identity to you. And he's speaking to the commander. Maslam ibn Abdul Malik. So Maslam responded to him and he said, his conditions are granted and honored. So he said, number one, that you do not make any recognition of his name or his action to the leader of the Muslims. Number two, that you do not ask who he is and about his family or his lineage. And number three, that you do not give him any share of the spoils of the war. Of the war. In conclusion, right after that, the man revealed his face and he said, I am that man. And after that, Maslam ibn Abdul Malik, every time he prayed, he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to resurrect him in the day of judgment and gather him with the man, the owner of the whole, simply because the man did that good deed, secretly between himself and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sincerely for his sake, may Allah grant us all sincerity.